All right. I know that you really hate it when teachers say, use your resources, right? Uh, but it is a thing, and we have to think about it. Um, charts and grammar charts and flow charts and all kinds of instructions about how to conjugate verbs and how to put endings on adjectives, all that stuff. Uh, you have resources. Uh, your main resource is the class website. So um, what I want you to do is take some time and go to the class website, uh, whichever class you're in, first hour, second hour, third hour, or fifth hour German, each class, uh, we got a website for you. And I want you to look around, spend some time, find those charts, find all the things that are going to help you with different exercises and activities. Um, you also have the option of finding charts that are not part of the class website, right? You can Google them. Uh, every university in America has a German department, and they all have uh, charts that they've posted for their students. U of M has a huge site of nothing but German grammar stuff. But bottom line is we got to find those charts, and we got to get used to using them, right? You don't have to have everything located in your head. You have to know how to find the charts and then have those charts up while you're doing different assignments and different homeworks. That's why in the classroom I have charts on the wall. Same reason. So let's think about how to use those charts. All right, let's talk about types of words. There are many different types of words and we have to know which kind of words we're working with because that's going to help us know which kind of endings they need. It's all about the endings. So, for example, there are definite articles and indefinite articles. There are possessives. And these kinds of words and many other kinds of words take endings. You're going to put an E or an EN or an ER or ES on the end of one of these words based on gender, masculine, feminine, neuter, based on the case. Case is nominative, accusative, dative, genitive based on whether it's singular and plural, etc., etc. Indefinite articles, we know this. We've seen these before. Ein, eine, einen, einem, eines, einer. It all means a uh, or an. Definite articles, der, die, das, den, den, des. We've seen that before, too. Um, so we, we at least have some idea about these. The possessives, right? Uh, we know mine and dine. Some of the others we get a little confused about. Sein is his, ihr is hers, unser is ours, euer is y'all's, and ihr is theirs. Wait a second. The word for theirs and the word for hers are the same, right? Right. Yes, they are. They're the same. It's confusing, but you'll get used to it. Okay. Now we start putting endings on this, right? Mine is mine. Ich liebe meine Oma. Ich liebe meinen Opa. Ich liebe mein Auto. Ich gebe meinem Opa eine Karte. Ich gebe meiner Oma eine Karte. Udo ist der Name meines Freundes. All right, so I got six different possible endings on mine there. I gotta be thinking all those questions. What's the gender? What's the case? Is it accusative, dative, genitive, nominative? Is it singular or plural? So I'm gonna get used to calculating, doing a lot of calculations for the endings of these kind of words. Now, if I have my followed by an adjective, my netta oma, my nice grandma, my netter opa, my nice grandfather, my altes auto, my old car. So I have my, and I gotta have some ending on that, mine, mina, whatever. And then there's an adjective. It's a nice thing or it's an old thing. And that adjective, net or alt, also takes an ending. But notice it's a different ending than the possessive. All right. Just keep this in mind. Take it step by step. We'll start sorting it out. Uh, there's also words like diese, welche, solche, jede, right? Meaning this or which or such or every. Um, 
we know phrases like jeden Tag, every day, jede Woche, every week, right? But these also will take endings. That's what the little dash means after D's and welchen, solchen, je. That little dash means you're going to have to put one of those endings on there. Um, you must have charts. You must, absolutely must have charts. Charts are the only way to figure this out. So we'll get to the charts in a minute. Uh, but remember those questions. You're going to start asking, what's the gender is it singular or plural? Is there a preposition in front of this noun, in front of these adjectives, in front of a definite or indefinite article? Prepositions make everything change up. And what role does this noun play? All right, we're going to ask about the role of a noun in a sentence. Uh, so let's take a look. A noun in a sentence can have any one of these particular roles. It could be the subject direct object, the indirect object. It can be a possessor, meaning that it possesses or owns something. Or a noun can be the object of a preposition. That means uh, there's a preposition in front of the noun. And if there's a preposition in front of the noun, that preposition will determine the case. Okay, we've heard bits and pieces of this before. This is not entirely new, uh, but charts are everything, right? Here's a chart. This is just one of many charts, okay? You can go online, you can go to the class website, or you can just start Googling. Uh, you also have charts on paper that your teacher has given you in class before, uh, but you have to have charts. And once you have the charts, then you can start working through it. And so here, for example, we have adjective endings, but there's one set of endings that go on an adjective after definite articles and one set of endings that go on adjectives after indefinite articles. So for example, if I want to say the old man, that's gonna take a different set of endings than if I say an old man, right? The old man or an old man. Or for example, child, if I want to say the young child, or if I want to say a young child, all right? I'm looking at the charts to figure out what endings go there. So we gotta get used to looking at charts all the time. Don't even try to do your assignments if you don't have a chart in front of you. The chart is important. So think about those charts. Uh, there was one chart in the video I just showed you, uh, but there are all kinds of charts and think about it for a minute if you're looking for something are you looking for a verb chart are you looking for an adjective chart uh, when it comes to uh, words that go in front of nouns you have adjectives but there's all kinds of adjectives I mean it gets complicated right there's definite articles indefinite articles there's possessives there's words like dies, welch, solch, jed, um, and they all have different sets of endings so take some time just to think that through and then take a few minutes to just surf around inside the class website. I'll send you a separate email with the link, uh, but, but just kind of click around and look at different stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. Without exaggeration, there's hundreds of links uh, because one in the class website, you click on one link and it opens up into another thing that's got 20 links and each one of those opens into 20 links, right? It can go on forever. So take some time and just explore what's out there. You'll need those resources uh, over the coming weeks. So talk to you later. Tschüss.